There is no shortage of third-party launchers available for the Android operating system. One of the newest to hit the marketplace is by SPB, and it's called SPB Shell 3D. It's a pretty cool launcher. The only downside, it's very expensive. It sells for $14.95. So I want to show you some of the features. You can then you know, decide whether it's worth the almost $15 price tag. So it includes a ton of home screens, each with its own kind of theme predetermined. You can, of course, rearrange things you know, to your own liking, but I want to show you all the widgets that it comes with kind of pre-set up. So we're all the way to the left. This is kind of the clock widget, and it is completely themable. It comes with a ton of different themes. When you tap on it, you're brought to the regular Android clock, but when you go back and you hit the settings, and you want to change the theme, you can see there are literally you know, a ton of different clocks you can choose from. They're all super slick looking, kind of high res, and then you have your alarm information and moon information as well. Scroll over again. This is the Flickr widget that shows kind of the popular Flickr images um, in kind of a neat grid format. You can tap on one to you know, make it appear in the larger frame of the widget. This is the kind of 3D weather widget. Pretty cool, it's kind of animated. Yes, it's snowing on April 1st where I am, unbelievable. And then at the bottom, you've kind of got a four day forecast where you can view the highs and lows for the upcoming days in your week. Pretty neat looking um, animations as well. This is kind of the home page, if you will. Right now I'm on the little home uh, icon in the middle. Um, you can see, hopefully it's hard to make out with my wallpaper, but there are different dots that denote which page you're on. Right now I'm in the middle. And here you can arrange whatever icons you want. They have this one set up with the calendar widget, shows you the day of the week, and then has two upcoming appointments. Of course, if you tap on this, it launches into your calendar as well. So you can rearrange, obviously, your you know, most useful icons here as well. Scroll over again. This is kind of a cross between photos and geographical information. It's got a photo widget at the top. These are not Flickr, but your own personal photos. Well, you can add Flickr as well. When you tap on it, you'll see all of your gallery pictures, your Facebook, and your Flickr. And then it has kind of a little you know, sidebar at the top that shows you the you know, different uh, pictures that it wants to highlight. And then if you tap on one, it will launch in your viewer of choice. It also has different icons as well, as well again, for you know, geographical information, maps, and navigation. And of course, you're free to choose to change those if you, if you wish. And then it's got this really neat three-dimensional clock that you tap on. It's kind of a world time widget that scrolls all around. And you can move the globe kind of in any orientation and spin it around. Really cool 3D effect with that. The next page is kind of the people page or the social page. It has all the kind of social icons or apps preloaded there. You can see you know, my Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare. I've put some other ones in there as well. It's got this cool favorites widget at the top where you can tap on one of those favorites and you know, go into their contact information and from there call them or send them a text. It only shows you three, but if you tap on the little icon, it expands it and shows you all of the favorites that you have in there. And then of course it has an SMS widget. I took the built-in one out and replace it with my Google Voice because that's what I use on a regular basis. And then the last one is kind of a toggle widget where you can set up toggles for turning on and off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the backlight, going to silent mode and things like that. It's a pretty neat widget there. It's really uh, easy to jump from page to page. Scrolling is really smooth, but it also has this super cool 3D effect. If you tap on that little icon there, you see all of the pages in kind of a 3D little uh, effect there, and you can spin around and easily jump from you know, one page to another at any time. Really cool looking effect there. It's, it's unlike any I've seen. Um, and again, it's super fast, super fluid. Right now I'm on the last page. If I wanna go all the way to the other page, it, you know, it's almost instantaneous, really slick. You also have some space for icons at the bottom and what you like to call the dock. Right there, there's only three. And then you've got the one for the app drawer as well. Going into the app drawer is pretty smooth as well. It launches quite quickly and you can see you can scroll through. One thing to take note, which is kind of cool, all of the icons that you have on your home screens show up with a little home icon up in the upper right hand corner. You know, that just lets you know that they're that they're on a home screen somewhere. So pretty neat feature as well. So 
SPB Shell 3D. Again, it's available for $14.95 in the marketplace. I'm using it right now as my main launcher. The cool thing about it is, you know, I've used other launchers and I've kind of had to, you know, take elements from one launcher, combine it with widgets from another, and, you know, make a kind of my own personal launcher. With this, it has everything I need all in one package. You know, I don't need to use beautiful widgets as well as ADW launcher um, in combination. I'm sticking to this. It's all inclusive. It's got everything I need in a super slick, super cool graphical format. So I'll put a link in the video description where you can learn more about this. And if you have any questions about it, you can always leave me a comment below. Otherwise, you have a great day.